Hey guys, Smoking Briar coming at you. And um, I got some stuff to show you. I got a package in the mail um, today. Totally unexpected. And I had no, no idea this was coming. And I picked up a couple of uh, new items um, for myself. And after some long research um, as to what tobaccos I could smoke um, rather safely, um, I've narrowed it down to a blend that pretty much uh, fits the bill for what I'm looking for. And I'm going to smoke that tobacco pretty much exclusively um, until I can find some others that resemble it and have the same components and the same ratios. Um, so one of the things I'm going to show you guys, this is the tobacco that I found um, that's going to work for me. Um, and it's this guy right here. Frog Morton Across the Pond. And Frog Morton Across the Pond has three ingredients in it. Uh, it has Cyprian Latakia, which is pretty hard stuff to get your hands on nowadays. Um, and it has Orientals, and it has Red Virginia. And after much study um, and talking to tobacconists and having some people do some research that are, you know, tobacco blenders um, that I contacted. I found out that Oriental tobacco, Oriental leaf tobacco, has 1% uh, nicotine content. And Latakia is made from Orientals, and it's a process, as you guys all know, of just hanging the hanging the tobacco plants, the leaves, um, in barns with, with fires, you know, smoldering fires um, underneath the plants, um, which gives the Latakia that nice smoky flavor that we all like. And of all the Virginias, um, from what I've heard, from what I've been told, um, uh, Red Virginia. Red Virginia uh, has the lowest... Uh, nicotine count uh, at 2.5 percent uh, with some other Virginias going up as high as 5 percent uh, in the nicotine count. So this blend is made up of the three three tobaccos that have the lowest possible nicotine um, that you can get and anything else less than this and I'd be smoking air. So um, believe it or not uh, Frog Morton Cellar and Frog Morton on the Bayou were always two that I really enjoyed, and I've never even tried this Frog Morton across the pond, but this is what I need to do, so this is what I'm going to smoke. Um, that being said, I also uh, was talking with the Boswells. Um, and they opened up their new store up there and um, things are going really well and I was talking with Dan Boswell and uh, you know I spoke to JM I told you I was going to talk with JM a little bit and he confirmed my my uh, research on the tobaccos um, you know with Orientals and stuff being the lowest and uh, Latakia as well but I also was talking to Dan and he made a pipe for me and I got that pipe right here in this box and I, I just I'm speechless to this um, he really outdid himself on this pipe for me and he emailed me and told me that he was going to be sending it to me um, and I got it in the mail 
and I just <laughs> I'm I'm just like I said I'm speechless I mean you guys know my my love affair with Boswell pipes but uh, I'm gonna show you this pipe that Dan made and sent me and I think this is probably one of my most by far one of the nicest Boswell pipes um, he knocked this one out of the park comes in the usual Boswell bag all right you have to bear with me I'm having a little breathing difficulties here today but um, check this pipe out you ready there it is look at the stem on that isn't that incredible that stem is amazing and it's got an oval oval um, shank I'm gonna take the stem out so you guys can see that check that out and look at the grain on that that grain is amazing I mean this is just a beautiful beautiful pipe and I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not but it says JM Boswell 2016 USA from Dan Boswell and there's the stem but I was just I was just blown away by this pipe I still am I haven't smoked it yet it's brand new but I'm gonna be putting some of this uh, frog Morton in there and giving that a try because I'm telling you that's I'm this is just this is just unbelievable Whew. so then I went to the uh, the post office like I said and I picked up a package that was totally I didn't even know it was coming I was shocked and it's from Grandpa Cavendish and um, there's a story behind this and these guys were pretty sneaky with this but uh, I, uh, I already opened this because I didn't know what it was I knew the name and I knew it was from Grandpa Cavendish but first thing I seen was that big bag of filters and uh, I was like why would he send me filters I wonder didn't even think about it you know I thought that he might have been thinking you know that will help with the nicotine and stuff and uh, he sent me those filters to put in some of the pipes I had and uh, then I got this um, he sent me a brand new unopened tin of Danish mixture beautiful tin unopened and he also sent me a bag of lane limited ready rub and there was a note in here big note and uh, before I read you the note I gotta show you what else he sent me um, in the box and it was this box right here and I said hey that's that's got to be a pipe so let's take a look at the pipe and this is a pipe that says Claude Romaine made in France check this pipe out isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful pipe and uh, it looks like it's absolutely brand new too and I was like this is a beautiful beautiful pipe sorry about the camera and I was totally blown away by that and then I got to the note and here's where the sneakiness comes in it says dear Mike I hope this message finds you well my friend please give this pipe a try it's from Mark's personal collection that's Bremen pipe smoker he wanted you to have it and to see if the nine millimeter filter system would lessen 
any nicotine and allow you to continue to enjoy your pipe smoking hobby. And he goes on to say that he has added a few very mild blends that I might like as well and some filters to get you started with the pipe. We were both very sad to hear of your medical condition and wish you Godspeed in recovery. All the best to you and your family. Be well. Mark Bremen Pipe Smoker and Ed Grandpa Cavendish. I was just blown away. I mean that's just that's just the way this community is. It's, it's just amazing to me. And, um, you know, that they would go out of their way to get me a pipe from Mark all the way over in Bremen, Germany. And um, I, I'm just, just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I just, I'm just going to say thank you. And, you know, after all the years, it's it just... Uh, it shouldn't be a surprise anymore. It shouldn't be a shock, but it, it always is. You know, it always is because this, the, the community is just amazing how they always come together um, and do things like this. And I've, I've gotten so many PMs and, and well wishes and different people that I've talked to, and um, everybody's been really great. But I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, the pipe I got uh, that Dan Boswell made for me and um, found a tobacco I can smoke. Now uh, Grandpa Cavendish has sent me a couple others I can look into and try. Uh, beautiful, beautiful pipe from Mark. Um, you know, it's it's awesome. It just, it really is. And I want to thank all you guys, um, all my new subscribers. Um, and don't forget the contest I've got going on um, for the cigar giveaway uh, that is still going on if you haven't wa uh, if you haven't left a comment that you're in um, you know please just go over to that video and leave a comment all you have to do is just say I'm in um, if you don't say I'm in or yeah count me in I, I'm not going to know that you want to enter so make sure if you want to enter you just say that you're in or, or please enter me or whatever but that's going on until the end of the month so Okay, guys. I just wanted to uh, show the uh, show the pipes and stuff that I got, and the kindness of these guys. And uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. Everything's uh, going pretty well on my end. I gotta see the doctor in a couple of days, see about adjusting my medicines and stuff. So uh, until then, we will talk to you guys later. Be well and take care.